1 Timothy 1, 8-11, is homosexuality an abomination? Now we know the law is good if one uses it lawfully. Understand this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who strike their fathers and mothers, for murderers, the sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, enslavers, liars, perjurers. Those are people who lie on the stand in court. And whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine, in accordance with the gospel of the glory of the blessed God, with which I have been entrusted. Now, the interesting thing is that here, Timothy is, or this might be, this is Paul who wrote this letter to Timothy. But here, Paul is putting homosexuality, in this case, male homosexuals, but it applies to lesbians as well. He's putting them in the same category as liars, perjurers, and slavers. Or whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine. That's what he's putting them in the same murderers. But they're just sinners. Born again believers like to, who, who don't struggle with homosexuality, like to put homosexuality in a very special category of being an abomination. When in fact it's just sin. And all sin will not get you into heaven. When they do that, the only thing it serves is for them to not look at their own sin. Each person has got to be responsible for their sin first and foremost, not on condemning anyone for their sin. Unless they're abusing children, okay, essaying children, if they blaspheme the Holy Spirit, these people don't have any hope. But everyone else has hope of salvation. And we need to stop putting homosexuals in the category of Sodom and Gomorrah. Where in this country have you seen gay men come out and try to gang grape a person? There's so much more than just homosexuality in Sodom and Gomorrah. Focus on your own sins. Okay? Focus on your own sins. Many of you are not paying tithes and offerings. You're not willing to help the poor. In Ezekiel, in Ezekiel 16, 49, it says, Behold, this was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excess of food, and prosperous ease, but did not aid the poor and the needy. Did you see that? The church is obsessed with Sodom and Gomorrah. I can say the church does not help the poor. They give them old clothes and old food. And even born-again TIs oftentimes will not pay their tithes and offerings. Their subscription, their membership, and their latte is more important than helping the poor. I could demonize people for not paying their tithes and offerings. Sodom and Gomorrah is so much more than just homosexuality. Focus on your sin. Homosexuality is just another sin that God can redeem men and women from. Okay, like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof, and God bless.